Now, while we're going there, I want you to turn to uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Version. The, um, the voice, uh, oh, the, uh, ver that version. Yes. Yeah. See, I only got it on the. Uh, it's on Descartes. It's on yeah. Descartes. But, uh, uh, we'll work it out later. But Proverbs 4 and 7. Now, most people enjoy. Proverbs because uh, one of the things that in Solomon's writings it has the voice. Bible Gateway is what it's Okay. Um, four and seven. Well, we'll use it when we get back to Hebrews five. Um, but yeah. These are the words uh, from the wisest man that God extended wisdom to. All right. And it doesn't matter, you still got the voice? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, watch this. And sound judgment is the same as wisdom. No, oh, he did, because he turned into be on the very little just give it a second. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. Gaining sound judgment is key. So first things first, go after Lady Wisdom. That's the bottom line. Hey. And all through Proverbs, it'll tell you the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, respect and revere God. Hey. He says, that's the main thing. King James says, wisdom is the principal thing. Make sure. That's what we're, that's what we're aiming for. Mm -hmm. It says, so go after Lady Wisdom. But now in your pursuit, look at the rest of the verse. Now whatever else you do, follow through to understand. Fun fact. The word wisdom surfaces in Proverbs 53 times in the entire book. So does the word understanding. 26 times they're in the same verse. <clears throat> All right. So now, we're aiming for wisdom, sound judgment. But while I'm acquiring that, what does Solomon say? What if I don't ever make wisdom? All right. He says, make sure. King James says, in all thy getting, get because to possess anything without understanding is to have nothing. All right. Um, the point we have to press. I don't know if it's been your experience, but. Sometimes people will give us an expensive, lavish gift. We accepted it, took it home, unpackaged it, only to discover you didn't know what this thing was. And so while you enjoyed it, it looked nice and expensive, it went on the shelf in a closet somewhere, and that's where it stayed because you didn't know and didn't want to seem ignorant, wouldn't ask, and then have a long sister until somebody comes, we move it or whatever, and I, mean, I know you have one of these. Child, I don't know what that is. I mean, this is what you do with that. And then when you find out, it's like, oh man, if I'd have known that, I'd have been using this. <laughs> Understanding. Understanding. All right? Now go to Luke 24, 25. This is what we talked about a couple of weeks ago. The two men who were on their road on the road to Emmaus. 
2425. Now there's a certain language I want you to be aware of. Um, let's see what it says in the voice. Watch this. 2425. Then he, oh, you want it in there? Go ahead, yeah. Come on, man. Why are you being so foolish? Why are your hearts so sluggish when it comes to believing what the prophets had been saying all along? Didn't it have to be this way? Didn't the anointed one have to experience these sufferings in order to come into his glory? All right. Now, while we're holding that, uh, give me the message at the same time. Who's got it? Well, then you stay in the voice because we'll be going back and forth. I want this to really settle in. It starts with then he said to them. Is what? Then, oh. he, then he said to them. Believe all that the prophet said. That's good because the next part goes into 26. All right. Now, the information was there, but it was something that they were intentionally doing themselves that was causing them to not see it clearly. That's what I want you to understand. All right? Now that same, uh, go to 40, verse 45, 2445. I put it, I do it again. Okay. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. 45. I'm sorry. There it is. There it is. Okay, good. Then he opened their minds so they can comprehend the meaning of the Hebrew scriptures. Scriptures they had already been reading. But reading with no understanding didn't profit. And in a few days, Jesus is getting ready to leave. Right. And what's going to happen after he leaves? <laughs> what is the process supposed to be? While he's on earth, he's teaching them. Right. When I leave, y'all are going to teach them, mm -hmm. but you're going to die one day. So it ain't just stay in a class forever. I'm teaching you to teach them so that when your time is up, guess what? Teach somebody else so when their time is up. So a thousand years later, guess what? The same teaching. That's how it's supposed to happen. Now, John 5.39. I need this settled in you. John 5.39. One of the things that has caused such anguish within the body of Christ is bad information that was given out under the disguise as godly information. Now, 
That's only half the problem. Half the problem is that the church teaches it wrongly. The other half is you never studied to know the difference. Right. Yeah, you can't put all the blame on the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, um, when you take medication, they guess. That's why they tell you up front, you know, if you if you experience any of these symptoms, what do they tell you? Stop yeah, taking stop taking this immediately. Because yeah. obviously, in our guessing, mm -hmm. we didn't guess wrong. Yeah. Don't just keep taking this. Mm -hmm. So now watch this. Watch this. John 5, 39. Come on. Here you are scouring through the scriptures, hoping that you will find eternal life among a pile of scrolls. What you don't seem to understand is that the scriptures point to me. But they believed they had what? No, what were, they, what were they in the scriptures for? They were looking for it. And guess what? No, they thought they did. And Jesus makes the point. How do you how did you figure on that? Because guess who they hadn't read about in the scriptures? He said, and if you think you got eternal life, how did you read that you got it without me? What, 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 what have you been studying? Mm -hmm. These were not the church members he's talking to. Mm -hmm. These are the church leaders. leaders and the teacher. Now, if the teacher got it wrong, okay. the jacked up. with confidence, mm -hmm. you believe you got something you ain't got because you didn't read something that didn't read me? Now, Matthew eleven twenty five, 25, and then we're going to go to Hebrews. Yeah, that's fine. Matthew eleven twenty five. 25. This is, the, this is the preeminent problem. See, we think schooling and education validates the teacher. So that's what we believe. Because, see, when it comes time to select pastors and leaders and staff members, See, way up at the top, we want to know what are your qualifications? Right. What schools have you gone to? What degrees do you have? As if the school validates your ability to disseminate the word of God. Mm -hmm. We believe that heavily. Mm -hmm. And so see, somebody, your English isn't real good? You didn't even graduate high school? Mm -hmm. No, nah, you can't. See, our church is too prominent. We got doctors and lawyers and Indian chiefs up in here. <laughs> Watch this. Matthew eleven twenty five. 25. This is what we missed up. And then Jesus began to pray. I praise you, Father. Watch this. I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed your truth to the lowly and the ignorant, the children and the crippled, the lame and the mute. You have hidden wisdom from those who pride themselves on being so wise and learned. Watch this. English. Smart ain't smart. See, we put such great stock in Dr. So and so, mm -hmm. Dr. this, Dr. that. And Doctor does not acquire revelation knowledge. You know, you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Jesus in a prayer says, Father, I thank you. You done done something, and the people didn't get it. Real wisdom, real knowledge of this book comes one way. How? From God. And he does it through what? It's a word right in the prayer. If God doesn't reveal it, guess what? You're looking right at it and don't even know what you're looking at. You revealed it to somebody and at the same time did what? Hid it to somebody. Hid it from somebody else. Yeah. On purpose. Now look at you, look at us, going to the educated to help me understand the word of God. And when the dust settles, get what? Dang. Dang. They need somebody. Yeah, 
Now, let's go to Hebrews chapter 5. Get an understanding. Search the scriptures. When you get through searching them, if you're not searching them through the search engine of God, show it to me. Guess what? When you're doing the internet stuff, what's important for real traffic depends on the search engine you use. Anybody know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, the hot tech people understand that if you got a business or something on the internet and you want the proper traffic, it depends on the search engine. But I watch this. If you're not using God as the search engine, man. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 10. Come on. Listen to this carefully. For God appointed him to be a high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Who did? God. Appointed who? Jesus. To do what? God. Doing what? Watch this. <laughs> Big picture. Now, who is Jesus in relation to God? The Son. Mm. Sidebar. What's, what dad wants their son to grow up to be just like the man next door? Not one. I hear you. Not one. Yeah. Son, this job that you're about to do is, is so important and so life changing. I want you to follow. The man next door's example. Mm -hmm. What what dad tells their son that? Mm -hmm. This job is so important that nobody in the history of man has ever done it or will ever do it. So I want you to, I, I am your daddy now, but I want you to follow his example. Mm -hmm. What kind of sense would that make? Watch this. <clears throat> Look at the next verse. I have a lot more to say about this, but it might be it may be hard for you to follow since you become dull in your understanding. Did you see that? Since you become, I love it. Now they weren't always like that. But that's the natural byproduct to it when you've been in church for five minutes. All right, all right. Well, we get comfortable and complacent because, see, I know three verses. Yeah. You know, I, hey, I'd have been here about five minutes now, so I don't know what you think you're going to teach me now. <laughs> teach that to the new folk. Wow. I know three verses, man. Damn. Yeah. And it's interesting, you know, because we'll read something and we'll say, you know, a familiar. What does that mean? <laughs> See, most times when we hear hell, a familiar passage of scripture, most of us almost turn off. Oh, I didn't heard this before. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know this story before. Mm -hmm. We ain't listening no more. Mm -hmm. As if we know everything there is to know about that. About that. Uh -huh. Watch this. He said, I got a lot to say about this subject. But my teaching and talking ain't the problem. Y'all done stop listening. Like you ain't never ran to nobody like that. Oh, yeah. You're no longer going to teach this Bible. I didn't, well, did, I, did I ask that? I, when, when was that the question? I didn't know we were talking dates and longevity. There's a Bible verse that says, God says, come let us. What did the reason mean? What is the exchange in reason? Him you it's back and forth. This is not a boss dictating to a secretary. That's not reason. Because she ain't. She ain't got nothing to say. I'm just writing down 
Yeah. That's not reason. Mm -hmm. Reason is I talk a little. I listen a little. But at some point, yeah. you talk a little. They gonna listen. This is God mm -hmm. telling his creation. Come let us reason together. Hey, I, 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 I want to hear what you got to say. Are you kidding me? Wow. Now, if God positions himself to say, I'll take, no, I'll listen to what you got to say. How in the world can a human ever be in a position? I, 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 I can't hear nothing from you. I can't hear nothing from you. You know how long I've been in, you know how long I've been in church? Wow. I don't know how long you've been in church. I don't know how long you've been in the way. <laughs> Watch this. I got a lot to say. What is the issue? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Verse 12, this is what the issue is. By this time, you ought to be teachers yourselves. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> wait. Watch this. Here you come. Who just got saved yesterday? <laughs> Oh, this is a little too tough for you. <laughs> Who in here, under normal circumstances, would you say you're a a babe in Christ, a newborn? Mm-hmm. I got one hand, and she shouldn't have put her hand up. That's what the writer's saying. He said, how, how long have you been, how long ago since it's been since you've been converted? And the question is, why are you comfortable still where you are? Mm -hmm. You in the student seat looking up when he says, by now, you should be mm -hmm. teaching the student. Look at it. See, we're up against the clock and don't know it. See, we think we have all the time in the world just to get ourselves together. Wow. And we missed the big picture. God saves to save. Mm -hmm. God teaches to teach. God forgives to forgive. Are you missing all of this? It's not God who has a forgiving problem. We have a forgiving problem. Right. Yeah. But in order for you to forgive somebody else, you needed to understand what it was for you to have been forgiven. That's why we don't do it. Because we don't understand yet what it costs God to forgive us, but then we want to hold somebody else's stuff hostage on them. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. It's time. You're out of place. And you're comfortable out of place. Child, I'm just trying to learn. I'm just trying to learn. How long are you going to be trying to learn? <laughs> your neighbors, your co-workers, classmates, people that we ride the bus with every day, there are folk waiting on a word that you think you got all day to get. As Dan said last night, we don't know if the co-workers grandmas would have died or not. But what we do know is you were asked to do something. You offered to do something. So that God could be glorified. Right. And all you know is because you did that, the outcome was a favorable one. Yes, sir. It's time when you should be a teacher. But what's the problem? <laughs> Yet I feel like you want me to reteach you the most basic things that God wants you to know. See, uh, not to teach you the basic things. Re -teach. Re -teach. What is that? Re -teach. Re -teach. So what's the problem then? We had already been through this, but the problem was...
Jamie, when a teacher is plowing through, fast or slow, at some point, man, it's your job to say, I got a question. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I can't. We driving too fast. I can't. Because this, this ain't about what the class is getting. Ain't nobody in here. I don't care what the class is getting. I got the last part, but where you at right now, from where you, I, that, that, ain't, that ain't making no sense. Says, man, I'm trying to teach y'all high school and college stuff and look like we need to be talking about A, B, C, D, E, F, G. See, we're laughing, but it's real. He said, y'all not even, you don't even have the, the regular stuff? Watch this. It's almost what? It's almost like you're a baby again. Oh, wow. Coddled at your mother's breast, nursing, not ready for solid food. Now, when you see a mother with a five or six year old nursing, what you think about that? <laughs> not good. It's all right. Come on, when you see a kid that ain't even in pull-ups and pamphlets no more, they got a regular underwear, they got a full set of teeth, but they nursing on their mama. What's wrong with that? Everything goes to jail. Everything is wrong. Watch this. How many know that's not the kid's fault? Right. Yeah. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Right. It's happening. Why? The mama. Yeah, because see, right now, who, who running this show? Or oh, if you don't get away from here, I'm hungry. Get your tail to the table. That's where your food's supposed to come from. You passed this part. Oh, wow. How is it that we can clearly see it in the natural, but we Ray Charles when it comes to God? We got 2020 when it's somebody else. I can't believe Christ still sucking like he a baby. 2020 when it comes to sin with price. Why you ain't got 2020 when it comes to you? You know, I'm not really, I'm not really clear about that topic. Why not? And why ain't you doing what it takes to be clear on that topic? All right, all right. The and teacher don't live with you. We don't work where, we, where you work. We don't go where you go. But the same folk who need a word there. Why they got to wait on somebody's pastor or teacher to get there? Right. What don't it look like having to stop to go to Toy's job when Toy worked there every day? If I got to go to Toy's job to give Toy's workers a word, why is she there? Wow. Yeah. Man, I'm here just trying to make a living. Then you there for the wrong reason. Children of God don't work jobs to make a living. Ain't nobody listen to what I'm saying. Because if your job is what's causing you to live, then you're not even living. And you're certainly not a child of God. Because his responsibility is, is to make sure the needs of his are met according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater, and he multiplies seed sown. But now if I'm dependent on my job to do it, God said, well, you don't need me to do it. Then when they cut your hours, they cut your pay, they let you off. Don't come crying to me because you need my help. No, you need to go cry to the job. Watch this. You, you, you should be teaching by now. That means at some point the student has to get serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Mother Robert, when I came to Bishop College in 1986, I was already 23 years old. If I'm here for learning, that's what I came for. 
Sister Kelly, I didn't come to pledge. Mm. I didn't come to party. I didn't come to club. Mm. I did all that in Chicago before I came here. I didn't come a thousand miles to play. I came to get an education. Y'all didn't hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Now all of that was offered and all of that, folk were getting caught up and sucked up in all of that. I'm sorry, I don't know what you came here for. I came here to get something. Get it and keep on moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because college was not going to be a career choice for me. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes. Some folk believe college is a career choice. Yes. You don't make no money when college is a career. You paying. Right. Good God Almighty. Watch this. Watch this. And regular church life shouldn't be no career move either. All right. All right. Ooh. <laughs> the least you're supposed to get in and get something and move on. When you come out of high school, college, you're supposed to be further than when you went in. Yes, sir. Ain't nobody hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you graduated or not, Keisha, when you come out, when you quit, you ought to be further down the road than when you went in. Yeah. Yeah. You can't come into church on level one, be in church 30 years, and 30 years later, you're still on level one? Well, now we might examine the church to see what was wrong with the church, but right behind that, I need to examine what's wrong with you. Right. Right. See, we see it in the natural, but we blind in the spiritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go to this restaurant one. The fuel is bad. Now, under normal circumstances, Delisha, guess what? Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. But like, it depends. Joy, you may catch somebody that said, oh, man, you must have been on a bad day. Man, they have good food. It depends on the witness. Mm -hmm. Now, if the witness is compelling enough, deep, all right, un yeah, under that. adverse circumstances, I might. Go back. Twice. I, I might give you two times. Now, if I go back the second time and it's just as bad or the same as the first time, guess what? Yeah. Now, you will make money, but it ain't coming from me. Yeah. Then why you been at the same church for 30 years with no change? Yes. Yes. Why well, you been at that same church for 10 years? Mm -hmm. And that church ain't caused you to lose weight, it's caused you to gain weight. Because you're heavier and foolish than you were when you first joined. Mm -hmm. Watch this. He said, you ought to be uncomfortable. You might join a job and, and have to be a janitor. But five years from now, you still cleaning toilets? And you happy about it? Oh, no. Whether a job offers promotion or not, you ought to be there trying to climb a ladder. Anybody hear what I'm saying? God said, well, why you don't feel like that when it comes to him? He said, I don't care what glory you get in in me. You ain't supposed to be comfortable with that glory. It says where to move from. Glory to the Lord. You ain't saying that. Then why you ain't moving? See, when you go into temporary housing, you don't unpack everything. Because it serves as a signal to you. I didn't come here. So I'm going to need most of this packed so that when my permanent place comes, I ain't got to keep on packing and repacking, packing and repacking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't join church and unpacked everything. And ain't nothing changed in you. You're living or you're giving. See, I wasn't no, no amens right there. You see that? No. We was given $2 14 years ago. We didn't got nine raises on our job and we still give $2 at church. You crazy. To not don't understand that God has been blessing you and you ain't even put two and two together? See, God don't have to change the tithe, Alicia, because, see, when you get a raise, he get a raise. Yeah. You said that nobody said nothing? Yeah. See, we teach folk a dime out of every dollar. How many know you ain't never got a check that was a dollar? <laughs> Not a stage there. <laughs> Work a job and they, they print you out a check for a dollar. Man, you could just give me cash. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> you you be embarrassed to take a dollar check to the bank. <laughs> they be laughing. How you, how, you, how you want this back? <laughs> Man, if you just give me my dollar and needle out of here. <laughs> I need two quarters and five down. Yeah. yeah. Watch this. What's really going on? Look at it. You're not ready. She's a 12. You're not ready. For what? Now, just as crazy as a four or five year old nursing is the same picture as you trying to give a newborn chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And we the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mess up their digestive system. <coughs> Watch this. Ooh, I wish you really, I really knew it right. See, when a mama eats right and a baby nurses right, they pee and poop. But the scent is tolerable because it's the it's what they're supposed to be eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't anybody hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The minute mm -hmm. you change their diet, mm -hmm. the scent change. Mm -hmm. It's almost unbearable. Mm -hmm. We blow right past that. Mm -hmm. As we're gonna make the unnatural natural. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. Watch this. We've never desired the real milk of God. We've let churches chew up our food and put it in our mouth and wonder why our digestive system is jammed up. 1 Peter 2 and 2. How can we talk about the heavy duty things of God when guess what? The simple ain't settled in us. Watch this. Look at 1 Peter 2 and 2. Come on. Be like newborn babies crying out for spiritual milk that would help you grow into salvation. Watch this. Help us what? Grow into salvation. In the natural, we understand growth because stuff that used to fit. Just to the care of the sleeves used to be almost to the knuckles. Now it's almost up to the elbow. You didn't buy a short sleeve. That's a signal. It's time to buy. <clears throat> Some more clothes because your kid is growing. Why you still got the same church stuff on? You've been in church for 12 years and can still wear the same church stuff? I ain't talking about your outfits. At what point do we grow in God where, if, even if you don't know, somebody else has to say, child. It's time for God to give you some new outfits because, yeah, you, your arms is past that. How you know you grow? Not because stop, stuff stops running your blood pressure, but your reaction. When you look there and go, yeah, now they're just going off for you bad and you laughing. Ain't nothing funny. It is to me. Because, see, I remember today, I would have been knocked you out by now. And the fact that you going off and I can laugh at it, <coughs> Something that changed in me. Yeah. See, it's nice not when folk, it's nice when folk recognize growth. It's greater when you can look at your own self and go, "Wow!" I remember my hair used to be that long. Now it's that long. <laughs> it's nice when you can recognize growth in you. 1 Peter 2, Peter 2 and 2 says, see, if you were really serious about growing, guess what? Yeah. 
See, there's some folk in the natural. Eating is built into the day. It don't matter whatever we go, whatever we do. Hey, that, that's, that come up early. Hey, we're going to go over here. Mother Jack, we're going to go over here. We're going to go over here. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to run back here, do this. And we're going to go back. And then I said, tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. When is we going to eat? Now, even though we ain't going to eat right now, see, you done said a whole lot of stuff. And what I noticed was, you ain't listed no eating time. And what I do know is, I'm not going to just be bothered with you all day and we ain't ate nothing. Watch this. Then why don't we desire, why don't we crave, the writer says, the sincere. Don't let people give you Similac Bible. Ooh. Ain't nothing wrong with your God system. I don't need you to alter the milk of God's word. I don't need the pilot version. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Ooh. Ain't none of us lactose intolerance in God. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Sincere mean give it to me straight like God meant for me to have it. Y'all yeah, yeah. ain't saying nothing. Yeah. I don't need you to put an extra filter in there. Right. Ain't nothing. Y'all, it used to be all right to get the water right out the tap. But so much is going on till now. We got to screw a filter on the tap and then get the water that way. That means you happen to adjust. It's supposed to be already filtered when it gets to your house. But we discovered this. See, somebody ain't doing their job. So I'm having to filter what should have already been filtered. But when it comes to God's word, the writer says, I don't need you, church. I don't need you, preacher. I don't need you, ministry, putting your own filter right. on God's word. But boy, it come to me. I need it to come to me just like God intended for it to come. Amen. So that I can grow. Go back to Hebrews 5 and then we're going to pray. When you go into a department store to shop, every section, Mother Deborah, ain't for you. Right. Oh, what you might do, I was talking about. I worked at Dulles for five years. Toy, and even as a woman, they have at least six or seven sections for women. But all of them ain't for you. Now, they just trying to make money, delicious and sell clothes. They, they ain't trying to discriminate, but let me tell you something. It'd be a number. They go with the outfit. And what they're trying to tell you in a nice way is, would you look at this number? This is this this is big as it go. Now, that's all that's in this section right here. Now, when that's a single digit. And you are a two dizzy person. What is you still doing in this section looking around for? Because most of us ain't shopping for nobody else. We're, we're initially going to try to buy me something. Well, now, ma'am, sir, uh, this is what that stop at. <laughs> now, that's all they say. You know, we're too sensitive. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, so you can't deal with no. You can't deal with no. Salesman, no real. The one is better tell you if you don't get <laughs> your tail to the big section over there. This is for normal size folks. I ain't trying to talk about what you is now, but I'm trying to say is uh, <laughs> move around. Y'all watch this. Watch this. When you're at a church that at their best, All right. they don't offer a size that fits you, it's time to find a, a section that I can get dressed. That's right. That's right. See, Dorothy, I just found some nice outfits in, the, in my price range. See, when I put on the jacket and the sleeve come up to here, and this, this ain't a short sleeve jacket, See, what that mean is, they don't have, I, I got the, verse 13, we're going to pray. It's churches, y'all, unfortunately, watch this, 
Hebrews 5, 13, we're going to pray. That ain't, that ain't their fault. If all the size you got is for kids' clothes, then guess what? And I don't dog or misuse nobody that this state church. Because this might be your, your size. Because see, when you go to the department store or whatever, it's, it's, some, it's some folk in a single digit section. <laughs> they don't weigh about 80 pounds. What's in this right here when I need them? See, we don't go bad on them. Because they wear size zero. Hey, you don't over there. You don't hate on them. You just know that y'all can't shop in the same section. Watch this. No one lives on milk alone. Shouldn't. No, I'm sorry. No one who lives on milk alone can know the ins and outs of what it means to be righteous and pursue justice. Why not? That's because he is only a baby. And that's if it's the person or the church. You ever try to reason with a baby? <laughs> How does that work? All the time. Work out. <laughs> now, you're doing your best. <laughs> What's wrong with that saying? <laughs> <laughs> They're incapable of the return reason because they don't even understand. Now, they're looking at you. They laugh and smile at you. You're talking about, hey, ain't nothing funny. <laughs> it is to them. Because they don't mind. They're talking about, you must be crazy. You know, dog, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> But how your mouth moving looks funny to me. It sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this. Ain't nothing wrong with being on milk, Mother Deborah. That ain't what the verse said. Did you see that? Let's start asking questions. Ain't nothing wrong with us getting on milk, Sister Carol. Now, five years from now, Ain't nobody going to Golden Corral, Luby's, Furs, none of them places. Wise Cafeteria, depending on how long you've been here. You ain't going to none of these places and on the sign, hey, all you can eat, $2. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Told them when we get in here, all they got is milk. All you can drink milk. They got it white, they got it chocolate, they got it strawberry. Yeah, they got all the flavors you want. All you can drink milk. <laughs> you better go in here and cut the food. <coughs> hey, hey. Hey, where's the meat at? Oh, it's all, it's all you can drink. Man. You won't even stay there. Man, it's time to eat. That's all you can drink, man. See, you laugh. Because you ain't never seen no place like that. Because they, they trying to stay in business. <laughs> then if the natural don't offer an all-you-can-drink place, why the church offer it? Oh. And you go bad on the church offering it, but you stand right here drinking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten years later. And wonder why the weight God keeps dropping on you crushes you to the ground because you ain't got no built muscles to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Father, we thank you and we praise you so much for the shifting in your atmosphere. For a graduation of student to teacher. For a moving of complacency to a sense of urgency. I just can't keep sitting in the class forever my life and the lives of those that you cause to be plugged into me are dependent on me. The harvest don't just jump off the vine. Somebody got to go get it. God, and I thank you that your word says pray for laborers. We look crazy as a laborer going out in the field and jumping up in the tree waiting on somebody to come pull us down. We ain't the fruit. We supposed to be going to get it. So Father, I thank you for the man, the woman, 
the child that says, open my understanding, God. Amen. Not so that I can prove somebody wrong, but that I can show somebody what's right. For your glory, your honor, and your praise. Thank you for this time in Jesus' name.